It's music theory online. Let's learn some theory online by watching modules online with music theory online. Hi again and welcome to our third module. Hopefully you have a really great understanding now of what a semitone or a half step is and you've been able to work with sharps and flats and naturals so you should be coming very comfortable with using those in your music. Just to review, a semitone is just the smallest distance between any two notes and as we said the last time another name for semitone is half step. When we're talking about semitones, there are different types of semitones. And the first semitones that we're going to look at are called chromatic semitones. A chromatic semitone is a semitone that has the same letter name or a common letter name. It's easier to remember chromatic semitones if you remember that chromatic and common both start with the letter C. On the slide that you're looking at, you see there's no clef, so we can't really say if it's in the treble clef or in the bass clef. What I want you to notice is that these are all chromatic semitones. They have a common letter name. They're on the same line or on the same space. Let's assume that we're in the treble clef. That would be A to A sharp in the treble clef. We have a common note name, A. The next example, again, if we assume we're in the treble clef, would be C flat to C natural. The next one would be F sharp to F natural and G to G flat. They all have the same letter name or a common letter name. The other type of semitone is a diatonic semitone. A diatonic semitone uses a different letter name. On the slide, you see that we are changing where the note is. So that makes these diatonic semitones. Again, let's assume we're in the treble clef. We would have D to C sharp. That would be a diatonic semitone because it has a different letter name. E to F is a diatonic semitone because it has a different letter name. G to A flat is a diatonic semitone because it has a different letter name and D sharp to E is a diatonic semitone because it has a different letter name. Here we have a diatonic semitone first from A to B flat. It has a different letter name. Then we have a chromatic semitone A to A sharp they would both sound the same because B flat and A sharp are the same note sound. Now where we have semitones and half steps we also have whole steps or whole tones and all a whole tone or a whole step is are two semitones. What you're going to do for a whole tone or a whole step is you skip a key. So C to D would be a whole tone or a whole step. D to E would be a whole step or a whole tone. E to F sharp is a whole tone. F sharp to G sharp would be a whole tone and G sharp to A sharp would be a whole tone. Whole tones must be diatonic which means that you must use a different letter name and while it's diatonic you can only go up one note name or down one note name. E to F sharp is a whole tone. E to G flat would not be considered a whole tone because you're skipping one of the note names. Remember that enharmonic notes are notes that have a different letter name but sound the same. Each black key is going to have two names. As I said last week, Remember that C flat and B are enharmonic notes as well as E and F flat. 
B sharp and C and E sharp and F are also enharmonic notes. Here we have those same enharmonic notes written in the treble clef. E and F flat are enharmonic notes. E flat and D sharp are enharmonic notes. And G sharp and A flat are enharmonic notes. That means that they look different, they, they sound the same. So let's look at some of these notes and see if they're chromatic semitones, diatonic semitones, and harmonic notes, whole tones, or something completely different. The first one is B to C sharp. B to C sharp would be a whole tone because we're passing over the C. G to A flat would be, can you guess? Can you figure it out? Do you think that's a diatonic semitone? Because if you do, you're absolutely right. D flat to C would also be a diatonic semitone. G sharp to G natural would be a chromatic semitone because we have a common note. And B flat to C sharp is something totally different. If you check that, you have more than one note between B flat and C sharp. To sum up semitones or half steps, just remember that it's the shortest distance between any two notes. Chromatic semitones have a common or the same letter name. Diatonic semitones have a different letter name. And a tone is simply two semitones. That means that when you have a tone, there's always a note in between, but only one note. And harmonic notes have the same sound, but they have a different letter name. And just as a review from last time, a sharp is going to raise a note by a semitone, and a flat is going to lower a note by a semitone. So now you can practice your semitone pages and identifying diatonic and chromatic semitones, writing diatonic and chromatic semitones. Also you can identify enharmonic notes as well as chromatic and diatonic semitones and tones. So you have lots to do. There's lots of material for you to practice and I will see you next time. It's Music Theory Online. Let's learn some theory online by watching modules online with Music